Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at how to use themes to alter the appearance of our GG plots. So a theme is a really convenient way of being able to alter the appearance in a consistent fashion of any GG plot that we make. In particular, we are going to be looking at several packages that have pre-built themes. And these are going to range from some pretty serious ones, like the themes for the Wall Street Journal and The Economist, through to some pretty fun ones where we're looking at TV themes and how to make some plots that look like they might have come out of The Simpsons or Rick and Morty. All of the code that I use will be shared on my website. There'll be a link in the video description so you can follow that and be able to reproduce all of this yourself. So to start with, we need the tidyverse uh, for any of these packages. If you don't have them installed, other than the ones that are coming off GitHub, we can just come over to packages, hit install, and then type in the name of the package and you can install it. Once it's installed, we go library and tidyverse to get access to it. I'm going to start off, I'm just going to use the same plot over a few times um, just to save on code. So I'm going to save this plot. We'll have a quick look at the default and we can see it's a simple scatter plot with some colors. So the first package that we're going to look at is GG themes. So GG themes are again packages and install if you haven't yet installed it. And for our themes, generally we are doing two things. We're adding a color palette and then we're adding the theme itself. And this can change the background, it can change the font, it can change the structure, it can do quite a lot of different things. Sometimes we don't need the color change. You'll see down here with the Wall Street Journal, we're just adding the theme, but not the colors. But for these other ones, we have the color palette for those particular themes that we want to use. Commercial organizations will do this as well. In our next, uh, next one down, we're going to have a look at the BBC plots in the style of the BBC. But I've actually done some consulting with Deloitte. Deloitte have their own set. Uh, so they have their own palettes when you're producing plots for them, use their palettes so all of their graphs are in the correct colors for them. So we've got GG themes. Let's have a look at the 538 theme first. Okay, so we can see it's made a few changes. It's shifted where it is putting the key down here. It's changed the colors, it's changed the background. Looks like the fonts have changed. So it doesn't necessarily look amazing, but we do have a pretty simplistic graph that we are doing this on. Sometimes it's a case of messing around a little bit with settings or just really trying to figure out what's gonna be the best appearance for your plot. If we come into The Economist, uh, we can see that they tend to go with the blue. We've got the blue background, the white stripes for the scale, and then we have our blue points again. Key there in a different spot. Our Wall Street Journal, you can see a bit of a change again. So each of those, its own set of colors, fonts, styles, all looks pretty good. Obviously, if we are producing content for each of these places, or we just want our content to look like those, then it's a nice, easy way for us to do this. So just jumping over to the help pages for GG themes for a second and we can see that they have a range of different themes. Those that have come from particular books or authors uh, linked off there. You can even make things look like Stata or Excel. I love that they uh, describe it here replicating the classic ugly grey charts in Excel. Uh, sometimes you might need to do that. Not quite sure why, but you can do it from there got a number of different color palettes there as well for us to work with. And if we come down, there's a whole lot of examples, some replicating plots from books. Uh, we can see there's the Economist one that we had up before and a few of the others. And there's the good old Excel, uh, Excel 2003 even. So those of you that are old enough will remember the uh, when the default plots used to look something like that. So moving on to our next one, our next one is BBC. The BBC one is not on CRAN, so it's not built in here for us to install. We need to install it from GitHub. And in order to do that, you need to make sure that you have the dev tools package installed. This first line you only need to run once, that's just to install it. And then once it's installed, we just get access to it as normal. And if we have a look at our BBC style, so actually it doesn't look all that great here on the screen. Sometimes it'll do weird things when it's in the window, when we hit zoom. Yeah, it still looks a little bit funny. 
Uh, but if we jump over to the help page, the, the examples that they have there certainly look a bit nicer. So let's look at a couple of those. So we can see here that these look substantially better than our pretty basic one. In each case, there is a little bit more going on in the graph. But we can scroll down. This is just on the GitHub help page. And there's a little bit more information uh, in terms of finalizing the plot. There's a few little adjustments and things you can make, but they maintain that all of these, and I, actually I believe them, that all of these have been produced using their theme together with ggplot. The third one that we're looking at is ggthemer. So ggthemer. And again, this is one that you will need to get off GitHub. Uh, so again, we've got the code there, that first line. You'll only need to run the once. This one's a little bit different from the others. So with the others, we take our GG object and then we just go plus and the style and then colors and other things. So it follows that fairly similar pattern. With theme R, it works a little bit differently. We basically just set a theme, then we make graphs and each graph we make will have those themes applied to it. So it's almost like it's changing the default. Just made a quick adjustment there in terms of which one we are going to look at. So we will run this. And then when we have a look at our test plot, it's had the theme applied to it. What they've done with this uh, package is instead of just adding it on the end, it's actually altering the defaults. And this is handy, I guess, in terms of not having to add the, uh, the little extra bit on the end. You need to be a little bit careful about how it alters the defaults so though. They do have this function reset. I've found that every once in a while, uh, it wouldn't reset things, colors in particular. So if I reset and then I make this again, most things will have gone back to default, but I found that sometimes the colors would not, and I actually had to restart R in order to do that. But it has a couple of interesting looking themes that you might like, depending on kind of your design and aesthetic choices you're making. So let's have a look at those. So scrolling down through the different examples, they're all fairly simple, not a whole lot of colors. Chalk is the one that we're using here. But you can see that for partic particular projects and particular aesthetics, uh, things like infographics and things like that, might be really helpful to have something that has these kind of quite nice, simple, quite bright colors, and then to be able to apply it across all of your graphs. So that's ggthemer. So we will run this reset. Uh, and if we redo the test plot, just to show you what I was talking about, we can see that most of it's gone back to normal, but the colors have not. And I did find there, there was kind of a bit of a hacky way of going back and running a couple of functions to get those colors. But to be honest, it was normally just easier to just start R again. Either you're going to be using this for your particular piece of work or you're not. It's, it's pretty unusual that you'll want to chop and change back and forth. And for the rest of what we're doing, it's not going to affect things. So the last one that we're going to look at is TV themes. TV themes has all sorts of different interesting themes. Here it has another thing which is quite handy for us to find out about, and that's fonts. The way that we are doing this is uh, the specific to Windows. I'm not exactly sure how uh, Apple would do it differently, but I'm sure the way that it handles fonts will be a fraction different. So for things like Simpsons and Rick and Morty, they have some very distinct fonts that we're going to want to use. And so we can run just these commands, import, uh, import Simpsons, Rick and Morty, and this gets the fonts. And depending on how your computer is set up and protections and things like that, ideally it will automatically add them to Windows. So R is actually using the Windows font set. So whatever fonts you have set up in Windows, it's what's going to be happening here. So we have this library, extra font, uh, where we've got font import, and then this next line, load fonts from uh, device equals win. And that will let R access the fonts that we have installed into Windows. Uh, this does seem to vary by operating system. And even within Windows, this seems to not always be consistent. So I think they, they may be a little bit messing around for you, depending on how your computer is set up. But let's start taking a look at these. So we're going to run TV themes. These import ones, we only need to do once to just add the fonts to the system. And then this extra font stuff, we also only need to do once in order to access. So here I'm using some of the code that they've got in their help. 
So we uh, get minder. Again, if anytime we see these double colons, that's telling us that it's accessing a package. So we need to make sure Gapminder is installed. It's just giving us some data to work with to be able to graph. So let's get our data. And then here we can see it's a GG plot. It's got uh, the X, the Y, the fill. It's going to be a uh, area graph. So that's one of those ones where it's, instead of a line, we've kind of got those shaded in areas. The key things that are going to make it Simpsons. We can see we've got the scale fill Simpsons. We've got the theme Simpsons. And we're adding the type of font. And Akbar, as you'll see when we make this graph, is that Simpsons styled font. So let's run it. And there we go. And we can see the color palette very, very Simpson-y. And then what really kind of completes it is those fonts. So that kind of Simpsons styled font there for everything. So you're probably not going to do this for your business report, but certainly for a bit of fun, it's pretty good. If we jump over to our next one, we've got a Rick and Morty one, uh, just using the diamonds data set. So here we've got the scale fill Rick and Morty. We've got the theme Rick and Morty. And then again, adding that font. And so let's have a look at that one. And again, that really distinctive font all the color palette, the styles, very, very much in line with what we might expect. Uh, let's have a quick look at the help page for this one. So we can see that they've got a few different TV shows listed here. Uh, I found that I had a few issues with the Game of Thrones one when I tried it. But other than that, it was all pretty good. So different color sets. And then they've got some examples. So again, you can run through got a uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Spongebob, uh, there's the Simpsons one that we did before, the Rick and Morty, you can see once again it's the Game of Thrones, it gets a whole lot more elaborate, and Avatar, that's pretty cool, I quite like that one, uh, and then Parks and Rec, if we want a whole lot of green. So this last one, probably not quite as useful uh, for those of you that are using R in the workplace, but or is quite a good practice for things like being able to add, import, and alter fonts. So just in terms of getting, getting a bit of practice and reps in with making GG plots, altering them to look the way we want, I think it's still pretty handy. So that was a quick run through of some different packages, different types of themes that we can add to our GG plots. Uh, I think the GG themes is probably the one you'd use most. There are others out there and it may be that in fact actually if you're doing something corporate, they may supply you with their own. Uh, so it is possible to create your own ones of these. And so that could be something that you do once you've mastered using other people's ones. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. And I will be back soon with more stats, uh, research and random stuff.